It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we're going to show you a battle of the beer machines between Blade Beer here and the Philips Perfect Draft here. So we're going to talk to you about the different machines, the capacity of the machines, temperature gauges, how long the beer lasts, how long the beer takes to cool, that sort of thing. So let's get started. So temperature gauge here on the blade, you've got to get it down to a nice temperature. Let the, let the gauge get down to the bottom um, before you serve your beer. And then on the top here you can see that's how much capacity the keg has. And there's also a nice light on this system. The kegs are eight, eight litre kegs, which is really cool. And they started off life, this machine started off life as small restaurant cafe bar type machine. That's where Heineken wanted to market and promote and really sell this machine. But with what happened in 2020, they repositioned this machine as a home bar beer system to compete with the Philips Perfect Draft. Hence the eight liters in this keg. on the floor, it's rolling round. Um, next up, we'll show you how to load these kegs as well. We'll show you that in a moment, how easy it is to do. Next up, we have the Philips Perfect Draft keg. It's a six litre keg. This system has been designed for the home bar, the home drinking. Lots of people building bars in 2020. I don't blame you. So moving on to the Philips Perfect Draft then, here's the system. Um, the kegs load in from the top, so blade loads in from the top. Philips Perfect Draft, it opens up and you kind of sit it down on this, on this chill plate. Stick the tap on the top of here stick it in, job done. Now, in terms of loading, let's just shut that up. In terms of loading the kegs, we'll show you in a minute, but I would, I find it much easier to load a keg with the Philips Perfect Draft than I do with the blade. And we'll show you that in, in, in any second now, but I want to talk to you about Philips Perfect Draft, you have a gauge here on the front when we fit a keg. It shows you how much beer is in the system. And there's also, of course, temperature, but it's digital. This is an analog gauge, a bit like your Mini Cooper, or your old fashioned car that had analog gauges, which I absolutely love. And this system here is more of a digital system. So let's do exactly what I wanted to show you and that's to load a keg. So we're going to start off with blade beer. But I think styling, let's talk about styling. This is, this is down to your own personal preference. Let's move this keg out of the way. Leave it, leave it there so it's blocking the, the Krups machine. In terms of styling, that's all down to you. You're either going to like the chrome finish with a light, more of a kind of professional kind of industrial look with the blade, or you're going to like the look of the Philips Perfect Draft, a bit more of a plastic, plastic looking system. So here we go then, lift the lid on your blade beer, put the dome down, you pull this forward here, the tap, Grab, grab hold of your keg. Now this is where, if you're a smaller person, things can be a little bit tricky. So you're only touching the orange parts of the keg, and even on the machine, 
they are only touching really the orange parts of the machine. You can see that there's an orange line feed. That's where your line goes. So take this off. Another thing you're going to want to do is pre-chill your kegs. Get your kegs down to about three or four degrees in your fridge. So you're not putting too much pressure, too much strain on your beer machines. So what I do, grab all the keg. This is a Zipfer Ertorp 8 litres, 5.4% ABV. It's an Austrian, Austrian Pilsner. So you're having to lift. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what you want to do first is push this in. You've got to push that button in there. Nearly forgot. Once that button's pushed in, make sure your system's unlocked on that switch there. Grab all your keg, feed it in, and this is the slightly tricky part. Make sure your line's not trapped. Feed your line in there, click it down. Put the tap back up, lock it down, put your dome back on. There you go, you hear the fan kick in and you can turn, turn the lights on if you like. That's loading the blade beer, 8 litres of beer. Slightly difficult, you're having to feed a line, hold a keg, feed a line, sit it down. It's not the easiest keg to load. But once the keg is in there, what a stylish machine. What a really stylish machine, I really like it. Right, let's load the Philips Perfect Draft and show you how easy it is for the Perfect Draft. Okay, so let's show you how to load the Philips Perfect Draft Keg, this lovely Francis can of Vice Beer Royal at 6% ABV. Remove the plastic top. Like so. Hands are cold today, it's freezing out here. And make sure to pre-chill the keg. Then you have a little, then you have your beer line. Grab your tap from the perfect draft by opening the doors and grabbing your tap out. Then what you do, you feed your line, you get a new beer line with each keg. It's very important that you use the new beer line with each keg as to not have any kind of infection in your beer. If you start using old lines, you're going to have an infection. Remember, these beers can last up to 30 days in your system. Always important to use a new line. Grab your line, feed it in. Can be a little bit tricky. There it goes. And then you simply push it down there, locks into position. Top of the keg, simply push this on here. Push down with a bit of force. There you go. And you have your keg tapped. Remove the drip tray. Open your doors. Simply grab your keg. Sit it down on your perfect draft, lifting the handles, and then the keg slides into position. Push the handles down to lock it in. Close your doors. Put your drip tray in. Simple as that. 
nice and easy. Okay, so remember I was talking about gauges earlier on. Here's a closer look at the gauges. You can see the kegs full by that gauge there. And you can see the keg is cooling by the bottom gauge there. Now that'll go down fairly quickly. When it hits the cold on the bottom, you can start thinking about serving your beer. Moving on to the Philips Perfect Draft, you can see it's a digital. There you go. Camera's struggling for focus. Right there, you see it's a digital graph here. There you go. So it's six degrees at the moment and it's got 30 days life on it. There you go. And then the, the middle graph there. There you go. Is how much beer is in the system. So that's the difference between how the two systems display the information you need regarding your beer. Okay, I'm going to talk about keg availability and how many kegs you can get and the price in a moment. But very quickly, I want to carry on. It's been about 15 minutes since the kegs were loaded. It seems the blade cooling system is far superior to the Philips Perfect Draft cooling system. The Philips Perfect Draft is on 6 degrees still and if you remember 15 16 20 minutes ago when i was just showing you the the different gauges that was on six degrees so it's not moved it's not cooled it by a degree in 15 to 20 minutes move over to the blade and it's it's more or less i'm not sure if you can see from there the, my camera's in and out of focus but you've got to trust me on this the gauge on the blade is right near it's not at the bottom it's not super chilled but it's not far off the bottom it's cooled that keg as a zipfer far quicker than the perfect draft has cooled the keg of the Francis Cana. just wanted to point that out right now let's talk about keg availability now I've just been on two websites as I was waiting for these kegs to cool add a bit of toast as you do there's currently 16 kegs for the blade. Now, if some of you remember, when I first reviewed, when I first invested in this system, just last April, so we're talking eight months ago, there was only, there was only two kegs, two or three kegs max on Beer Wolf's website. If you wanna order a, a blade machine and a blade keg, you can get 16 of them now, a variety of 16 different kegs and the machine. Um, the machine comes in at about £420. The kegs are between £32 and £40 a keg for 8 litres of beer. So beerwolf.com for that one. Beer Hawk for your perfect draft. And some Nisa stores if you're in the UK. Go try find a Nisa store. And you might be able to find kegs and machines of these both systems and the Krups subcompact in your local shop. I'm quite lucky. I've got a shop literally within walking distance where I can pick up some of these kegs. And a machine if I want to. But I have machines. So uh, Philips Perfect Draft, there's coming up to 49, nearly 50 kegs available. So the selection is better on the Perfect Draft. There's, there's 50 kegs available for this system, 49 um, they range between £30 and £40 for 6 litres. 8 litres of beer, £30 to £40. 6 litres of beer, £30 to £40. So, in terms of price per pint, I think the blade is a little bit cheaper. You can, the one plus side with the Philips Perfect Draft has been out longer than the blade. And you can get stouts, IPAs, lagers, lots of different selections of beer. 
Um, whereas on the on the Blade beer, they've just launched an IPA, so you can get an IPA on there. Um, there's lots of Weizens, lots of Lagers. Um, but bear in mind, both of these systems were originally built as Lager systems. And they've, they've been kind of shoehorned into producing stouts and IPAs and everything else that go on these systems. So that's the, that's the discussion in terms of price, keg availability, beer hawk, beer wolf. Let's get a pour. Let's pour some beer. Right, pouring a beer. What I always do, grab yourself a half pint glass, just pull some beer through the line before you pull a full pint. That'll do. Get rid of that bit. Could have drank it, but I didn't fancy any froth. And now, here is the pull. Look at that for a pour. Absolutely fantastic. You've got a nice head on the beer to protect the liquid below. Slow moving carbonation on this lager. It looks slightly unfiltered. Looks really, really good. How easy was that? And it's a lovely cold pint of beer. Okay, let's pour a beer on the Philips Perfect Draft, the Francis Canna Vice Beer Royal at 6% ABV. Grab yourself a little half glass, little tip from me. Just pour some beer through the line. It just helps when you pull your first pint through this machine. You're looking to reduce any kind of you know, fill your beer line with beer. You can have a really good chance of pulling a nice beer then. Some people choose to wet the glasses. Um, I generally don't bother. Um, right, here we go. The one thing I will say about the Philips Perfect Draft is that as I mentioned previously it's a lager machine. It's been produced to make lagers. So adding a vice beer, the vice beer glass is a little bit too tall for the system. But that's what it looks like. That's the pour, Francis Carne Royale, for the Philips Perfect Draft. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, just to wrap things up then, I just had a little moment just to stand back and look at the two systems, make sure I've not forgotten anything. I've realised I've not given you guys the price for the Philips Perfect Draft. That is currently, as of very early 2021, um, that is currently... £220. Blade beer, £420. I've drunk nearly half this vice beer contemplating, by the way. So, um, Blade beer, £200 more of your hard-earned money. 
You do get two kegs with the blade beer though. You get there's a deal on at the moment. We can get a 420 pounds with two kegs uh, for the blade beer. I think it's an absolute steal. I really do. Uh, considering the quality of the beer, uh, there are differences with that price. As you can still see, it's been 40, 50 minutes now. Um, the Francis Canner that we put in there 40, 50 minutes ago is still on six degrees. Um, for some of you, you're probably thinking that's a blessing because you want to be drinking your vice beer at six degrees. But if you want a really, really cold beer, if you put a lager in there, it's still going to be doing the same thing. So the blade beer has now cooled right down. It's cooled it right down in the space of 40 minutes. It's got a far superior cooling system in the blade beer. It really does. And that's because you're paying more money. The reason why I think you, you pay a little bit for all that chrome, you, you probably pay a little bit for the light um, and the system. Um, but I think the more that, that extra £200, most of that money is going into the cooling system. It's going into the cooling system. It's got a far superior cooling system. Um, as I look at the Philips Perfect Draft, it's just gone down one degree. One degree in 40 minutes. So which, which beer machine wins? On reflection. You got a lot more kegs on the Philips Perfect Draft. A lot more. There's 49 in total. And it's £220. If you can live with a, with a slightly cheaper cooling system in that machine, then that could be the beer machine for you. Also, it's down to volume. How much beer do you drink in a month? Will six litres of beer be sufficient for you? Probably not, if you're like me. Blade beer, eight litres, more of an industrial machine. Um, the quality of the handles, a little bit more solid. That's a little bit kind of rattly and jiggly and pokery. Whereas the blade beard, it's got, it, it just feels, even down to the, even down to the drip tray, big professional looking drip tray. If you want the Rolls Royce of a beer machine, blade beer is for you. Since they launched it, or since I picked one up last April, there was only two or three kegs on it. And even I was thinking, what have I done here? Have I, what, what have I kind of invested in here? But it seemed like um, I, I let the cat out of the bag. As soon as I started making videos for this machine and the, the, the people started buying these machines and all of a sudden kegs become available in the UK. Um, I'm not saying that's all down to me. I'm not saying that at all. Um, it's probably a lot of you people really enjoying the machine and you're picking it up. It's demand. It's a demand thing. But I like to think I helped a little bit. Um, so there was only three or four, uh, three, three kegs when this machine came out. When I bought it last April, April 2020. Now there's 16. So 13 more kegs have come out in a year. I reckon there's IPAs now on this machine. I reckon if you give this machine another year, there'll be about 40, 50 different kegs. I reckon it'd be stouts, porters, IPAs. That'd be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, they're already there on the Philips Perfect Draft and it's £200 cheaper. I like the Philips Perfect Draft. I like it a lot. I like the fact that I've had a stout out of it and I'm drinking a Francis Canner Royal. It's absolutely terrific. But I just, I just, there's something about Blade. There's something about Blade. There's something about the quality of that machine that I really, really like. But I really, really like. Rating for the two systems. Philips Perfect Draft. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I'd give it more if it had a better cooling system. Blade Beer. I'm going to give it a 9. 9 out of 10 for Blade Beer. Far superior cooling system. 
And just as importantly, eight litres of beer. Eight litres of beer compared to the six in the perfect draft. And the beer per pint is a little bit cheaper because you're getting eight litres to the price of six, six litres. And the kegs range exactly the same between 30 and 40 pound a keg. So nine for the Blade beer, eight for the Phillips Perfect Draft. You make your decisions on this video. If you think I've, I've, I've left anything out, please let me know um, in the comments box below. I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!